Hi, welcome to Judai's Kitchen. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wonder TV. And today you will be learning how to cook crab casserole. If you have the bahau in your house, I can teach you how to make it sushal because I'm a sushal person. Anyways, let's start. So for this dish, you don't need to have a very bonga bongang mga materials because you will have only this kind of stuff like crab imitation, the onion, the Japanese mayonnaise, the sushi, and then the cream cheese. Yeah, you will need the bahaw rice. Hello, mga momshies. I'm done grabbing hikapoy, juko, og chopping, chopping, mga sams. So we will start now mixing all the ingredients. So the first one would be the mayonnaise. Onion and this one, also the cream cheese. So ingon to sa mga YouTube, the technique ba of this crab casserole is that creamy dapat niya. This recipe is very simple. Even a four-year-old kid can do this very simple dish because they can just do the munching, munching because munching is very easy. Unlike the chopping, it's very stressful. Stress ako kanina sa pag chop. It's already mixed. The salt and the pepper. That's left. So the question is, gaano ba kadami? I don't know. The secret to cooking is bana bana. Yeah, I think it's already creamy and salty and perfect because I'm the one who cook it. So the next one would be putting all the rice in the container. This one, here up talaga maging cook, but for the love of cooking, gora. So now it's 10:59 in the evening. So according to research, this crab imitation, this crab casserole is a Chinese cuisine. I think so. I don't care. Basta ako kain lang ng kain. Tada! Luto na siya! Biko! Biko Express! Men na! Nakakaon na kag Biko Express, men! Ha? Nakakaon na kag Biko Express. Wala. Makalukaon na kasi ako ang giluto. Charot! So let's put this on. So it's done! So after placing the meat into the rice, so you should put this seaweed on top of the... Spread evenly! It's so beautiful, just like me! <laughs> we put it on the oven. In the oven! Perfect! So after putting in the baked casserole in the oven, you have to check it in the 15 minutes. And you should preheat the oven and you should wait the food at 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. And check it at 15 minutes. So I think it will be delicious just like me. Would you agree? Mommy, would you agree? Yeah. Yes. It's done! perfectly cook so let's now taste the finished product Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to my friend Shannon C, the heiress of Henry C, the daughter and the only heiress. The daughter and heiress. Shannon, and let's taste the food. Delicious. It's 
very delicious. So if I have to rate it, it's very Tom's 10. Very delicious because it's a combination of sweetness and then the saltiness and then the bitterness and then the sugar and then the spice and everything nice. Bonggam bonga siya kasi ako nagme. Bonga. Guys, alam nyo na, may mga leftover kayo na mga rye and make this, this baked casserole that I have taught. And comment down below if you appreciate it or not. Chara! I'm so excited to eat this tomorrow in the early in the morning. So mga sis, I remember the taste of tuna pie. And tuna pie is my favorite. I think the process is like making a tuna pie. However, in tuna pie, you're, you're, you're just making a tuna and then the mayonnaise and then the onion. I think that's all. And then you're making the crust. I'm so smart. I'm the chef talaga. Really? Honey, when are you coming here? When are you going to taste my food? Are you going to taste my food or not? Mm. Yummy. Just like, like uh, sushi. Because it's a sushi casserole. My mom is also a chef because she's the original chef. My skills are from her. And thank you for watching at Wonder TV. Ah!